Welcome to LSU's Tiger Stadium after dark, an environment unlike any other in sports. Very intimidating for visitors, as they say, this is where visitors' dreams come to die. Today we have a top 25 match in one hand, two of college football's premier teams preparing to battle against one another. As we'll see the number 12 team of the country, the Utah Utes, taking on the 13th ranked team in the land, the LSU Tigers. Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler. You're in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough. Let's get this game going. The Utes will kick it away to start us off. They'll return it from inside the five. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. For the LSU Tigers offense, we'll get the first swing today. And here comes the star running back onto the field. He is a special talent. You talk to opponents, he's always the focal point when they face this offense. Boy, Chris, this guy is special. It's almost like he floats across the field. I mean, I don't think anyone can take him down in the open field. He's the guy the teams try to key on, but sometimes it feels as though no one can contain him. Chris, I know it's the first play in the game. Boy, nice job by this offensive line. The back gets behind him, picks up some positive yards. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. It's a one-yard game, second and nine. But the defense coordinator this week all the time is about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Getting set. Here's second down. Give it to the back again. The game moves the ball to the 34. Now they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. To the air. It's Nussmeyer. And they heave it deep downfield. Deep ball is caught for a huge game here. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Tigers. Looked like a total bust there. Easy pitch and catch like you'd see in a Tuesday practice. Yeah, that quarterback's eyes must have lit up on that play because you've got one of your players way downfield without any defender around him. And now they'll set up for the point after. PAT is good, so it's 7 nothing. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Turn starts from inside the five. They can't slow him down. They can't get him to the ground. Still going. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Utah. He's going to score. What a highlight moment. The kickoff taken all the way back for a touchdown. I mean, a kick return for a touchdown is one of the most electrifying plays in football. Everything has to align right. Great blocks. Return man hits the crease just like he did there. Then he's off to the races. By the way, if I'm the kickoff coverage team, I don't know if I'd be kicking to this guy anymore. Extra point try coming now. And it's good. The kick is good. That ties the game. Now they get set to kick it away. And it's fielded. Can the returner make something happen here? And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. 
They scored a touchdown on their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. We see this all over the country now in college football. Defensive backs staying back a little bit deeper, forcing the quarterback to have to throw things in front. I like the decision here by the quarterback because he gets positive yards. It's a good way of staying ahead of the chains. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Going to run it. It's Williams. He has first down yardage at the 46. Chris, it feels good to see an LSU team be able to run the football when you know they're going to run. I mean, they've been doing that forever. Going all the way back to Jacob Hester, Kevin Falk, his ability to run the ball and catch out of the backfield. Leonard Fournette, and of course, Clyde Edwards Alaire on that great 2019 team. And now, LSU stable backs again on this roster, too. On first down, they'll keep the running game churning. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And they don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. Not easy to bring down. The cornerback finally gets the job done. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Crucial third down play after that completion. Back to throw. It's Nussmeyer. Receiver makes the catch. Tackle made at the 41. That's first down yardage. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. This LSU offense is moving quickly down the field. Hand off to the back. Has the first down and more. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. This offense really threatening now. Boy, how about that play, Chris? I think this opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. LSU getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Eating that nobody open. Here's the second down play. Try to catch the defense with the draw. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. How about the defense on this play right here? Chris, they go with a draw play to try to take an advantage of an aggressive defense. It's pinning their ears to get upfield. But instead, it was almost like the defense was expecting the run. They're not surprised at all. They make a great play. Eighth play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Caught in the backfield. It's Daniels. Football comes out. Defense jumps on the ball. It's a turnover. Boy, the defense showing their team speed on that play, flying around that receiver. He made the catch, but he didn't do a good job of securing the football, and the ball comes out. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Here comes a handoff. The game is three yards. Brings up a second down and seven. Yeah, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example. The defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. We go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. The junior able to bring him down quickly. So ball at the 30. This is a manageable third down play for the offense. Looking to pass. It's rising. 
catch made across the middle by the running back. The defense stops him just short of the marker. That'll bring up four down. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. And the Utes will have to kick this away. Fair catch made at the 20. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. They moved it well last time. Got across the 50, but then fumbled the football away. Solid run. They'll bring it down to the 28-yard line. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense take. They're going to run, maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Second down after that run on the previous play. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who whipped his way wide open. Chris, is it possible to be DBU and wide receiver U at the same time? I think the LSU fans think it's possible. They always seem to have great defensive backs, and they always have pass catchers that just show up and show out week after week, year after year. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Hat on a hat up front. Good job opening up the holes. Anytime you get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Offense getting set. Second down play here. To the air. It's Nussmeyer. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. A big hit by the linebacker. Physical tackle there. Big versus big. Now this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball and when you go play action, it affects the eyes of the safeties and the linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. Pop over the middle. It's Lacey. Look at the speed there. They finally bring him down, but it's a nice game. They still cannot stop this receiver. Here in the first quarter, he's already got 100-plus receiving yards. This guy is big time and living up to the hype. I mean, you and I both knew coming in that they had to be able to slow him down. Who expected this guy to have over 100 yards receiving in the first quarter? Grab behind the line, it's Thomas. The defense drops him for a loss. He went backwards there. Moving a second down behind the sticks now. A couple things that really stood out to me here, Chris, on this nice play by the corner. Awareness to be able to see the wide receiver screen, and then the willingness to get involved and run support and make the tackle. Great play. They'll try to pick up the yardage on the ground. And they'll stop him short of the line to gain. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Let's it fly out of the wide out. He's got it for a big game. They bring him down at the seven. The offense set up now with a first and goal. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback. And especially on third down, get him the ball. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. That was a nice juke, but not much run to run. He's brought down for a short game. A pretty good push-up front here by this offense line to get some positive yards here. You wonder if they're going to be able to run it in, or they're going to have to spread this defense out and try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup to put the ball through the air for the touchdown. It's a second and goal play for the offense. And the wideout goes in motion. Here's the handoff, testing the middle. 
We've seen you able to make the stop after a short game. Well, he came close to putting this ball into the end zone, but he comes up short. Now we're looking at a third and goal. Boy, the defense is digging in. The offensive line trying to get a good push. I'm curious to see if they try to run the football again here on third and goal. Here we go, back in the red zone. 0 for 2 scoring touchdowns here so far, and it's... He takes it in for the score. Touchdown, LSU. Yeah, a little bit surprised here, Chris. I thought they might put the ball in the air here on third and goal, but instead they run the football, keep it on the ground, and they get the touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, so it's 18-7. The kickoff team on the field now is in. Gets set to send this one away. The turn begins inside the 10. And the coverage team brings it down at the 26. And the Utah offense takes the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time. We're going to put together a positive drive here. Hand off to the single back. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards here on first and ten. Second down after that run on the previous play. Scanning the field. It's rising. It's a short completion at the tight end. Well, that's the thing with this guy. You've got the ability to flex him out. He shows his versatility and what he can do from that slot position. He could be the quarterback safety blanket. One of those critical third down plays coming up. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. He's brought down, but it's a first down spotted near the 41. Well, it's a nice job up front by the offensive line. But give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. And the Utes begin a new series here, first and ten. Caught behind the line. It's Parks. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. I think it's important to let your quarterback get into a rhythm early in the game. Sure, you'd love to see the big games, but plays like this allow the quarterback to get settled into the game, find his rhythm, and then he can make the bigger plays later on. Grab behind the line. It's Parks. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Second down pass. The Utes look to keep this drive moving. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Hey, this defense continues to just be physical. It's a line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground. And by doing that, this defense is allowing their defense up front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back the throw, they'll become a one-dimensional offense. Back to pass. It's rising. And he finds a wide-open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Tackle made, but the game moves the ball to 30. Great execution here by this offense against zone coverage with a curl route. Hit that last step in your drop. You see where you want to go with it. Put it right on his shoulder for a first down. Offense lines up. This is the seventh play now in this drive. Hand it off for a draw. And they try the middle, but stuck for no gain. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off.
Ball handed off. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Things just appear to be a bit out of sync from the get go on that. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. Ninth play of the drive coming up. This is a tough third and long. And he'll set up to throw. Caught in the backfield. It's Parks. Defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now. On third downs like this, you can only allow completions in front of you as long as you can protect the sticks. That's what the defense did here. They knew where the sticks were, and they are able to make the tackle short of the line. And here comes the field goal unit onto the field. Trying to knock it through from 44 yards away. The kick is good. He knocked it right down the middle. Hold on now. There is a flag on the first field. It's on the defense. The kick still wouldn't be a first down. It's a costly penalty for the special teams. The offense coming back on the field. You just can't make contact with the kicker. It's LSU on top as we take a break for the quarter. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. Into the field, we're ready now for the second period. Or aggressive do you get on first and ten? Looking downfield, it's rising. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Utes. Chris, remember in college football, it's just one foot down to be able to count for a touchdown. Does a great job towards the back line there. Doesn't go out of bounds. Goes up into the air and gets that one foot down. That's good. That's a score. They're setting out to try the PAT. And there's the point after. Here's the kickoff team now. They're set to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. And Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. The last possession, they really had the passing game. Clicky move right down the field for a touchdown. The gain is three yards, so second and seven. Christian on the spread area over the years has always grown offensively. I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Receiver in motion now. Big throw with the quarterback off the RPO. That's good for a first down near the 40. It was a great completion here. Quarterback puts this ball on the money. And when you talk about LSU and you talk about the history, it's easy to bring up Joe Burrow in 2019. But, Chris, you've been following this as long as I have. You know that when LSU is really dangerous, they get consistent play from the quarterback. It doesn't have to be Burrow, but just a guy that can be efficient, be a good leader, and complement the running game. And right now you're starting to see that from this team. Good completion. Now can you do it consistently? Because if you can, with the athletes they have around that position, they become a real threat. Second down play coming up for this offense. Scanning the field. It's Nussmeyer. Quick throw complete to the tight end. He's brought down, but not before getting into enemy territory at the plus 47. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. Gets made on the out route. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. Oh. 
LSU getting set with a first and ten now. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Grab down the middle. It's Taylor. A huge hit by the linebacker. A collision of big bodies there. Boy, he has such great size. I just love this play call on first and ten. The defense is expecting a run. Instead, you go play action, and you throw to the big man for some positive yards on first and ten. That completion makes it second and short. And there's the handoff. Brought down, but he packs the line of the game. Chris, I know we think about LSU, when we go back to 2019, Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, that dynamic offense, but at the end of the day, it's still LSU. It's still the SEC, and ground and pound is something they will never move away from. Great job here, and move the sticks. And looking to throw now on first down. Caught over the middle, it's Taylor. And he picks up the first down before they get into the ground. I mean, we're not even to halftime yet, and I don't think this guy wants to take a break once we get to the half. That's his fifth catch and counting. LSU is now operating in the red zone. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Makes the grab on the move. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball inside the ten-yard line. Defense get pushed back. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. A jet sweep here. Can the receiver get the edge? And he's finally tackled at the three. Defense getting pushed backwards. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. Looking to pass, it's Nussmeyer. It's intercepted, tried to fire it into a tight window. Inside the 10, return a pick six. Touchdown, Utah. Wow, there's a risky throw here, so close to the goal line. This defender makes this interception, Chris. Sometimes you see a guy hesitant. He's, he might think about taking a knee. This guy didn't. It gave him momentum and the speed that he needed to be able to get to the end zone. And now the try here for the extra point. PAT makes it a seven-point lead. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Number 36, set to kick it off. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Refusing to be brought down. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes that LSU offense back on the field. They're trying to recover from that last possession. They had things going, but then a pick six. A devastating play. They've got to recover from that right now. And they'll tackle about the 23-yard line. Chris, the consistency of this back has given this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. Tries the right with a quick throw. Finds a man downfield. It's a big game to the right. A huge gain across midfield all the way to the 40-yard line. Well, how about that? Another LSU wide receiver makes a big-time catch for the Tigers' offense. Oh, just a couple names to throw out. How about OBJ? How about Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase, who right now arguably two of the top receivers in the NFL, all from LSU. And watching this young man right here, he's hoping he's next in line.
Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Close to the tight end. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. Follows the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. Well, it looks like somebody did a great job of preparing himself to get ready for this football game. It's his second interception in this game so far. Obviously reviewed the tape, is locked in on his fundamentals. That's a big-time player making big-time plays. And the Utes offense takes the field. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? But quickly. This is what makes the RPO so difficult to defend if you have a quarterback who can read it. It's that old argument, which guy has the chalk last? Or with a quarterback that can read it like that, the quarterback has the chalk last. He reads that they're up, makes the throw on the quick slant, gets some really good yards. And the single back takes the handoff. Oh, and he fumbles. Defense recovers the fumble. Big takeaway. Hey, Chris, we can hear the contact from that hit all the way up here in the booth. So, hey, it's easy to blame the ball carrier, but I don't know if anybody could have been able to hold on to the ball after that hit. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. They had it going on the last drive, but it ended abruptly with the interception. Let's see what they can do here. Play action here on first down. Looking for his big tight end. He pulls in the catch. He's brought down, but the game leads the ball to the 39. Anytime you have a sudden change like this, Chris, I love to see the idea of this pick strike. The defense barely really has a chance to get established and get set. Next thing you know, they're dealing with an offense that's coming right at them, trying to put points on the board. Here's the handoff. Stop after a small game. Now look at it, second and nine. They'll run it. Hand it off to the running back. Run it up the middle, but stuff for no game. Boy, this defense is strong up front. Linebackers are flying downhill, able to make plays against this run game. Now they get this offense to another third down. Now you pressure that quarterback and try to build on the lead. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. They call the draw play here. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. He is brought down at the 32-yard line. Now, fourth down. So no hesitation by the coach. The offense is out there to go for it here. Fourth down completion to the left. And it's out of bounds after a decent game. Risky call here by this offense. I thought the quarterback might wait a little bit longer for him to take his route beyond the sticks. But he gets the ball out of his hands. And how about the job by this receiver to fight for that first down? This LSU offense is moving quickly down the field. Looking to throw. It's Nussmeyer. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. Defense makes the stop after the completion. This is an example of a quarterback in his offense just taking what the defense gives him. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. Take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. They look to throw it here on second down. Grab behind the line, it's Daniels. Brought down for a loss after the completion. Not what they were looking for. Just a really good job by the corner here, recognizing this wide receiver screen. Because he was so quick to react, when the receiver makes the catch, he's right there to make that tackle. Now it's third and short in the 24. One of those line of scrimmage battles that could help decide this game. Fires it to the wide out. Finds him in open on the right side downfield. It's a quick tackle, spot the ball at the 11, and a red zone opportunity now. 
What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. And the single back takes the handoff. Only a small gain. Now looking at second and nine. Handoff here from the shotgun. Oh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. That's a great play all around by this defense. Their first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going or will they have to settle for three? That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over, and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. And the field goal unit coming on the field now. Long enough and good. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Looks like he'll try to make a play with the return. And they've got the return to Corral. And the Utah offense takes the field. Last possession, they coughed it up, but it only cost them a field goal. To throw, it's rising. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Oh, man. For him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you just have too much time in your hands. You end up thinking way too much. It gets your hands a little shaky. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Makes a quick grab. A quick juke. And the water scoops out of bounds at the beginning. Some decent yardage. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards and continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. That game sets up a third down play. Can he get there on the ground? They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. The well, back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They hit up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. The Utes will bring their punt team off the field. They're going to kick it away for the second time. Returner decides to fair catch this. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. They moved it last time, but settled for a chip shot, looking to find the end zone this time. First play of the drive, they're going to throw the football. Quick completion to the tight end. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Well, it's great to see this quarterback from LSU make that throw and put it right on the money to pick up that first down. And I think that's the big thing that LSU fans want to see is consistency from the quarterback position. There have been moments where you've seen that. There have been other moments where they've been asking for more out of their quarterback. So you had the Burrow moment in 2019 that was historic, one of the best we've ever seen in the sport. But now you want to see throws like this. It would be a great compliment to that running game. And then you become a complete package and a real threat to the SEC. Second down after that run on the previous play. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Got the first down. Now looking for more. That's an explosive game. They've got it, but the game all the way to the 28. Man, and with 
with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. LSU getting set with a first and 10 coming up. And now they run the draw play. The game is three. Now it's second down and seven. That's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Offense getting set. It's second down. Takes the handoff, looking to throw, and he'll loft it to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Bayou Bengals. Well, that's just textbook right there. Great timing and recognition by the quarterback. Great route by this receiver. He gave a nice stem to the outside before he went to the post. Perfect timing, tough to defend, and an easy touchdown for this offense. PAT puts him up three. Pickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And the returner is brought down. That's the two-minute warning here before halftime as the offense tries to cut into this lead. On first and ten, looking to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Parks. They make the tackle, but not before. A solid gain on that pass. Boy, great slant by the receiver. What I love is the quarterback found the window that he wanted to make the accurate throw. They'll crank up the tempo here with the clock ticking down. Second down. Back to throw. It's rising. He makes the grab. Tackle made at the 37. That's a solid game. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. First down. Clock stops for a moment, but no huddle here. They've got to hurry. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Finds a receiver in the middle of the field. The timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. So the ball placed right at midfield as the offense starts with a first and ten. From the shotgun, drops back. He flips it to the back across the middle. They stopped the receiver, but that's a solid gain in that play. Well, this is the risk you take when you play man-to-man -man coverage and you leave a linebacker on a running back. Quarterback does a nice job of seeing that mismatch and getting the ball to the back for some good yards. And the Utes will come to the line to crank up the tempo. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. And he's got it. Touchdown, Utes. Strong game by this quarterback. Touchdown. This is a nice Utah. touchdown and a great no, play no, no, call. No. Just get this receiver in space and let him make people miss and use his speed to get to the end zone. That's what they did here, and it pays off. Kicking team out for the PAT drive. An extra point up and good, so it's 28-24. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback. They'll start at the 25. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. 
Back to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Oh, and it's dropped by an excellent defensive player. A chance at a takeaway. Got away from him. Don't see that off. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands? Sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. Looking to pass here on second down. And this time it's complete. So the offense calls a timeout here, but still close to the half. Well, the defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab near the sticks. It's Taylor. The offense will quickly spend the time out here after the play. LSU getting set for the first and ten now. Quarterback drops back. Dumps it down to the back. Tackle, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 45. The offense will now quickly spend the timeout. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. And the QB will try again on second and ten. It's complete. What a grab here the sideline. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. Well, if you're not careful as a quarterback, this is the kind of route that the defensive back wants to jump and get in front of for an interception and maybe a touchdown going the other way. But this time, the receiver runs it well, brings it in, and then gets out of bounds. And the kick is good. The offense settles on three on the drive. Snap, a hold, the kick, everything there. Perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. They'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. Tough running there. The coverage team brings him down as the clock runs out in the first half of play. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Guys, who's got a better seat there in Death Valley than you? A captivating game so far. And it's been a battle of wills between these two teams through two quarters. Bend, but don't break. They've managed to neutralize the explosive playmakers on each side by shutting down passing windows and providing tight coverage. Forget the Jimmys and Joes. This second half could really be about the X's and O's. Either way, it's time to find out. Back to the best in the biz for the start of this third quarter. Inside the five. Stopping at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the Utah offense takes the field. First play of the second half, they keep it on the ground. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Important second down play coming up. It's a quick grab. Breaks loose at the 40. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. 
And a huge game before he's forced out of bounds. Big yards to set up a fresh set of downs. Well, it's one thing to hear about how fast this receiver is in the scouting report. You look at him on film all week. The defense coordinator tells you, get ready, this guy can run. And then the reality comes. And this guy can fly. You see it again here. Nice catch. And they'll use the ground game here. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Defense does a really nice job here being able to contain that run game, held him just for two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably be thinking about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. The throw, it's rising. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. This defense has got to be aware of these quick throws to these wide receivers. They're lucky he didn't come up with more yards. And the Utes will try to keep this drive moving. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. They've got him, but he picks up eight yards and sets up a nice second and two. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. And he's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Second down after that run on the previous play. And he drops back in the gun. The throw complete to the running back underneath. They've got him, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. The running back sneaks out there. He is a difficult matchup for this defense in the passing game. Man, it is so tough to match up in man-to-man -man coverage against a back like this and catch the ball like a receiver. It's something you work on all week, and you know about it. You're aware of it, but it's one thing to be aware of it and another thing to go out and execute it and try to stay within the man coverage. Very tough to do. He takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Utah. That's another passing strike from this quarterback. He is having himself a tremendous ball game. Boy, this guy just can't miss. Every single time he throws, it seems like he's coming up with another touchdown. The receivers are running good routes. He has enough time to throw. And, man, this poor defense, they might want to think about changing up coverage because right now it is not working. Now the try here for the extra point. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. That makes the score. Utah, 35. LSU, 27. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. So it'll be a touchback. Ball spotted at the 25. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. They settled for a field goal last time out. They're looking for the end zone here, no doubt. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. I'm not sure the quarterback makes the right decision on this one. I think if he do it over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision. That one's incomplete. So, second down after the incompletion. The back's got it. That's a solid gain. Moves the ball to the 29. So, it's third and long from the 29. Defense figures to bring pressure here. Dropping back, they're going to throw for the first down. And that pass is all in over the middle. And it's good for a first down at 36. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. Looking for a gap, it's Williams. 
Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. If I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance, so throwing and running is essential. Stick with me. Second down after that run on the previous play. Caught behind the line. It's Thomas. Second down Thomas. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, you're going to throw for the first down. Looking for a deep completion. It's caught. Did he get a foot in? Yes, they say it's a catch, a big game. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. LSU getting set with a first and ten coming up. Quarterback will throw it off the one pass option. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. This is what coaches love to see. Quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback, and he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. And off on a single back formation. Second down after that previous play. Off the RPO, caught to the right. Got space, looking to score. Touchdown, Tigers! This offense is still clicking. That's a crucial score. Let's see if they can build momentum and keep this coming. Well, I know they're still trailing, but that score is a great first step in trying to break down this lead. You don't want to leave it all to the fourth quarter when the pressure really intensifies and you have limited time. Kicker on the sidelines. They'll go for two points here, trying to tie the score. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Defense not fooled at all there. Nice job of stepping up and stopping that two-point conversion. There's a kickoff team. Let's see if they give the return an opportunity to bring this back. Fields it just outside the goal line. And the return will be brought down. And the Utah offense takes the field. They reached the end zone the last time out, trying to do the same thing here. Ball handed off. It's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Second down play coming up. Dropping back, it's rising. Throws it to the right. Tipped and then drops. A chance to make a play, but instead it's third down. Just a great play on the ball by the defensive back. Getting a hand on it and tipping it up into the air. Boy, anytime you see a tip go up, often that defense is thinking interception. This one falls to the ground. The next tip ball could be going the other way. Ending off on the draw play. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Man, the defense coordinator has to be fired up about this play. The thing that he has to love is that his defense and their technique was right on point. They didn't lose their leverage. They stayed with the play and didn't just go after the quarterback. The Utes will line up to punt it away. He's got
got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. And the returner will be brought down. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. Let's see if they keep that passing game going. The last position, very efficient and precise. Crab behind the line. It's Williams. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, they're just fundamentally sound right where you want to be after the completion. Nowhere to go after that catch. Now it's second down here. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Man, this wide receiver has been a difference maker in this football game. He's got two touchdowns already. Now they look to him again, and he picks up the first down. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. Again, makes it second and medium. Looking downfield, it's Nussmeyer. Receiver makes the grab. They stop him, but it's a first down. It's an easy completion for the quarterback, finding his receiver just dragging underneath cover. This LSU offense is moving quickly down the field. Makes a quick catch. Brought down. The Lucian moves the ball to six. Defense get pushed back. Great execution on the RPO. Quarterback does a nice job as he's putting the ball into the belly of the bat, making sure to read his key. This defense was determined. They came up to stop the run. Quarterback saw it, pulled it out, hit the quick slant right behind it for some great yards. Trying to find room. It's Williams. Doesn't quite get in, but it sets up a first and goal for this offense. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half, and he's already at it again. The offense sets up with a first and goal. On the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Touchdown, LSU will take the lead in the second half. And they connect again. That's just been an unstoppable pitch and catch combination all game here. This receiver's been making this defense look silly, Chris, the entire game. He has multiple touchdowns so far. Just shows you that whatever the game plan was to slow him down, flat out hasn't worked. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT is good. Puts him on five. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. He'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Utes offense takes the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. This is a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Getting set. Here's second down. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Caught in the backfield. It's Parks. The defense all over. They stop him right at the line. This is exactly what you want to see from the defense. Yeah, you give up the catch, but you're right there to be able to stop this receiver from making any yards after the catch. 
third down play for this offense. Looking to throw. It's rising. Bringing pressure. I want to say it was incomplete for him too far. That's an incompletion. That'll bring up fourth down and makes you wonder if the offensive coordinator is reevaluating. Maybe a run there might have been the safer call. The Utes will have to take it away. And they're punting away for the fourth time today. Bringing it back, it's Thomas. They finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return. And here comes that LSU offense back on the field. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time, looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. That run produces a decent game. I'll take that every single time. Offense line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Short pass, finds the tight end. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. That's what makes this tight end so dangerous. You can flex him out into that slot position. He shows you his versatility. He can be an inline guy that can block, but here he shows you what he can do with his hands. Critical third down play for this offense right here. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Oof, the risk of throwing on third and short. Lots of second guessing going over on that sideline about that play call. You got to wonder if they're going to go for it anyway on fourth down, but what will be the play call? The punt team making their way on the field. And that one will bounce into the end zone for a touchback. And the Utah offense takes the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. It's a fumble. The defense recovers the fumble. That is tough for the ball carrier here, because not only does he take a big hit, but now you have to get an earful from your coach on the sideline after that turnover. looking to start the drive. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Caught over the middle, it's Williams. And the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. LSU has moved into the red zone. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. And the quarterback finds the tight end for the completion. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touch. First down here for this offense. Hand off to the back. It's good for a three-yard gain, so second and seven. <laughs> Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Same tail back, another carry. And they finally stop it, but a decent game at time. I feel like they call that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. So here we go. Third down in the red zone. The kind of play that decides football games. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. Has caught. Can he get in? He can't quite get in. He get him down at the one-yard line. Now that's what I call coming through for your team in a pressure situation. Great read. Got the ball where it needed to go, and now you're set up to get six. This LSU offense is moving quickly down the field. 
try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. I love that this defense is still fighting and still attacking. They're defending a first and goal play, and instead of just laying down and letting the offense score, no, no, they're not backing down. They get penetration and come up with a tackle for a loss. All right, it's second down and goal now for this offense. Play action fake, looking to throw. He's got it. Touchdown, Bayou Bengals. What a call with a play action down inside the five-yard line. Completely closed the defense. Their eyes were in the backfield, locked in on their quarterback. They lost focus on where he might be throwing the football. Made an easy read for the quarterback and a touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Return starts from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the Utah offense takes the field. The last possession, they bundled it away and it set up a touchdown drop. And they bounce back from that right away. Breaking tackles. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. Dropping back. It's rising. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker. Check out how he's been spreading the football around between his targets, getting everybody involved in this game. We're set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays and take home this W? And the Utes will bring their punt team on the field now. On the kick now for the fifth time today. On the return, it's Thomas. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. And he's tackled, but only after picking up the first down. Hey, you got to do what you got to do, and you got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call, and just keep working that clock. So the offense with the first and ten now. The football placed exactly at midfield. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Slides the quick throw. Because it's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. Here's the second down play. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Looking for his big tight end. Makes a spectacular diving catch. I just continue to be in awe of this offense. Even with the lead, these guys 
guys are going to play for 60 minutes. They do not let up. Here they are. Typically, you want to run the football here to work the clock, but these guys stick to the game plan and keep throwing the football, trying to get more yards. Snapping it from the red zone now, looking to throw. He makes the grab. The tackle is made. The offense is now set up for the first and goal from the eight. Chris, another accurate throw by this quarterback, and this guy has just been on fire all game long, over 200 yards passing, but more importantly, making great decisions for this offense and put them in a position to win this game. Receiver makes the catch. Touchdown, Tigers! Still no answer for this offensive machine. That's a crucial touchdown for the offense adding its lead now here in the second half. Yeah, you get into this second half, you start to count possessions and how big your lead is. Now that you're up two possessions, you can start to play really smart football, not just on offense, but on defense as well. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. Extra point up and good. A 19 point lead now here in the final four. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And he takes this from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Utah offense takes the field. Last time was a quick three and out. And they get a drive going this time. First down. We're going to throw the football. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment. But here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact. And as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Incompletion sets up a second down. To throw. It's rising. Good throw to the left. Makes the catch downfield. That'll pick up a first down. They'll spot it at the 38. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Hadn't been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. The offense really clicking against this battle defense. First down, looking to throw the ball. He makes the grab. He stop him at the 49, but that'll be a first down. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. It's caught downfield. Explosive play, and the offense will set up now inside the 30-yard line. Well, it's a good ball here by the quarterback, but I have to back up and look at the route by this tight end. He puts such pressure on this defense and makes it very easy for the quarterback to be able to make an accurate throw because he gets separation. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Looking to throw again. Looking for his back. And he's got his man caught wide open in stride. And they finally tackle him down at the one big gain in the pitch and catch. Now the offense is taking advantage of the defense kind of sitting back with this lead. That's back-to-back -back plays of big yards. You know, it's a bend-but-don't-break mentality from this defense, but they might want to reevaluate because this offense is moving the ball too quickly down the field. Back-to-back -back big plays. Defense is reeling. Set up first and goal now. And they're trying to punch it in here. Touchdown, Utes. Still no answer for this offense. That's a test of toughness and a test of will, and the running back won that back. Yeah, that's a great effort. Love to see running backs get their knees up and run through those potential arm tackles. That's what makes him one of the top backs in the country.
Now the all-important extra point. And the PAT is good. The extra point is good. Now they get set to kick it away. Set to kick off. Fields it inside the five yard line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. The last possession was a passing game clinic. They moved it right down for a touchdown. Can they keep it going? Looking for some space. It's Williams. It's just the middle to get stuffed. That money goes nowhere. Well, there's something we haven't seen much in this game at all. That ball carrier being tackled near the line of scrimmage. Maybe if this defense can make more plays like that in the second half, their team will be able to chip away at this lead. Offense getting set. Second down play here. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. You know, a lot of times these types of plays either go for nothing or they can go for a huge chunk of yards. Here they do a nice job of getting it to the outside, turning it upfield, and ended up getting a nice gain out of it. Important third down play coming up. To the air, it's Nussmeyer. But they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. Boy, a questionable call there on third down. I know they don't convert, but why not run the ball? Keep the clock moving, especially working with the lead in the fourth quarter. Now you got a big decision here on fourth down and short. They bring the punter onto the field now. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the return are brought down by the coverage team. And the Utes offense takes the field. And the wideout goes in motion. And off here comes the jet sweep. A solid eight-yard gain brings up a second and two. Brings up second down. Here's a quick throw off the play face. And he heads out of bounds. We'll be backwards on that play. Didn't want to take the hit. It's third down for the offense. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Grab near the sticks. It's Parks. He's tackled greatly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. I love to see this team fighting the way they are. Picking up a first down on that third down shows you they still believe. They still think they got a shot to come back and compete in this game. And the Utes line up on first and ten now. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. He pulls it in for a big game. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Hey, here's some positive yards. You love to see that. Now you've got a chance here to continue to attack this defense. They're trying not to give up the big plays, but down by a couple scores, you got to get a quick touchdown and hope to be able to get the ball back. Receiver in motion now. And they'll try the jet sweep here. Discipline, discipline, discipline. That's the key to this defense right now. Great job against the jet sweep of staying out wide and not giving that receiver much room at all. Second down play coming up for this offense. Back to throw. It's rising. Checks this down to the running back. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. Can they pick up the first on the ground? 
tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Hey, it's a nice pickup. You got the first down on the ground. That's a great job. But remember, it's a two-possession game. You got to pick it up a bit. This defense will welcome those kind of plays all game long because the clock will keep moving. So you got to put that ball in the end zone and try to get the ball back. First down and 10. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Well, this wide receiver has it all. We know about his leaping ability and his speed. But what I've seen today is the precise route running. Another example of it there, and the timing with this quarterback and this receiver is just a thing of beauty. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Pre-snap motion from the offense. the play fake looking to throw the football goes to his right side there for the completion tackle but first down Boy, it's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback and your eyes get lost and forget about the running back nice catch and a first down for this offense the Utes are going to cash in this red zone trip Here comes a throw from the red zone. Ram down the middle. It's Keefe. That's a good job here, staying ahead of the chains. Good pickup here on first down. The quarterback hits the safety valve that time. The big tight end. That'll bring up a second manageable here for this offense. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Looking to throw it again. Heavy pressure, he lets it go. Throws the ball away, but not before taking a hit. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play. Touchdown or field goal. Looking to pass. It's rising. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They stop him at the four, but it sets up this offense with a first and goal. Hey, it's got to start somewhere. That's a nice conversion here on third down. You got a long way to go, but maybe a little momentum here. Let's see what they can do coming off of that nice play. The Utes looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Stout defense there. It's a three-yard loss on that run. Well, that's one of those plays that works better against certain defensive looks, but not every defense is the same. They were all over that one. Let's see if they continue to attack to the outside on the perimeter to set something up downfield. So off the loss, it's second and goal from the eight. We're going to score with a run to the right. A sophomore with a strong tackle there. Hey, I can understand why they're trying to run the football here, but Chris, let's face it, the way this quarterback's been throwing it around, I'm surprised we didn't see them call his number. He's already thrown for three touchdowns. They break the huddle on third and goal. Goal no, doesn't do much good here. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Makes the catch. Can he get in? And he will score! Touchdown, Utah. Utah. Here we go. Fourth quarter. They cut into the lead, but still work to do. Well, I, I think the cool thing is that they're still battling, and they put themselves at least in a position now to possibly come back and maybe, who knows, win this game. But it's going to be up to their defense. They've got to get the ball back to have a chance. Now they line up to kick the extra point. PAT is good and still trail though. That makes the score LSU 54, Utah 49. The kickoff team on the field now is they get set to send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Thomas. 
to be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And here comes that LSU offense back on the field. Suddenly, this is a tighter game. They'd love to build a drive, choose some clock. How aggressive will they get with the play call? The bringing down to the drive has now reached the 35. But how about this aggressive approach by this offense? They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and these guys are continuing to throw the football. If the offense coordinator understands that he can't allow his team to get too comfortable or complacent, even with having a lead here in the fourth. Game moves it to the 35, first down again. Keep it on the ground to work the clock here. That one moves the ball across the 40. Positive yards are always important for an offense, but at this stage of the game, late in the ball game, playing with the lead, you're thinking about working that clock and continuing to keep the ball in bounds. Offense getting set. It's second down. To the air. It's Nussmeyer. It's a short completion of the big tight end. Stop right near midfield. It'll be a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. Quick pass, here comes a jet sweep. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. Well, I'm a big fan of that jet sweep motion like that. It really forces the defense to stretch them out horizontally and can create some vertical seams for this offense. They got some positive yards, didn't quite get the first down, but I'll tell you what they've done. Planted a seed on this defense and they better defend this style of play moving forward. He'll hand it off. They make the tackle, but that's a solid game. Moves the ball to the 34. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. LSU getting set with a first and 10 now. Offense will keep it on the ground here. And it'll be smothered right at the line for no gain. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Important second down play coming up. Looking for some space. It's Williams. That's another good run for him. What else is new? That ought to put him right at 150 yards for the game. He has really made his presence felt today. So now it's third and short from the plus 25. They're in field goal range. Well, let's see what the call is. They're thinking about touchdown, of course. Can he make it to the marker? Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. This running back's had a big night, kind of night you dream about. But the defense finally steps up and gets to him behind the line of scrimmage. So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. And it's good right down the middle. I was watching this guy in three game. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised he was able to win three points up here for the off board. Come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will move it away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Utah offense takes the field. Here we go. They need a touchdown. They got some time to work with here. They got to be precise and manage the clock wisely. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived at the same time as the football. And now it's second down. It means second down. Offense needs points quickly here, trying to dial up some explosive plays. Let's see what they've got called. Scanning the field. It's rising. 
Quick throw to the left side. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. This is why offenses drill down on the two-minute drill year-round. You want to have quarterbacks and wide receivers completely dialed in on down and distance and especially the clock. you got to get out of bounds when you can to preserve it. They do a really good job of that right here. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. They bring it down with the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. That last catch, Kirk, puts him over 150 receiving yards in the game. Let's start checking the record books. This guy's making a, a push. Yeah, it really doesn't matter what the defensive coordinator calls, whether they play man, whether they play zone. The quarterback has been able to find this guy all day long for such a huge day. It's second down. They'll get set, needing to score quickly now, looking for some big plays right here. Second down, we're going to throw it. Running out of time in the pocket. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Four set of bounds after a big game. This offense set up with a first down. Just a heads-up play by this wide receiver to recognize where the first down marker is and then to get out of bounds to save time. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. Looking to throw it from the red zone. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Utes. Well, here we go, Chris. They get the touchdown, and now it's all about the two-point play. Which play do you go with? Under a minute to go and a chance to tie this game up. The crowd is roaring now, trying to help the defense stop this two-point conversion. Back to pass. It's rising. And it's caught, and the two-point conversion will tie up this game here late in the fourth quarter. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Bringing it out, it's Thomas. Going to be tackled right at the 20. That's a good job by the coverage team. Basically, here comes the LSU offense back on the field. This one's tricky in a tie game. How aggressive do you get? Risk a turnover. You've got some work to do just to get in the field goal range. Just a short game this time. They're going to get him down. Second down after that previous play. Same tail back, another carry. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. So tied up after regulation, we go to overtime. Remember, in college football, it's dueling possessions. In the second overtime, if we get there, you have to go for two points if you score a touchdown. And the third overtime, Kirk, just becomes a series of two-point tries. And I know that's your favorite, to see if we can get to that third series of these overtimes. I love extra football, so I'm looking forward to this. Let's see who's going to win it. First and ten play coming up. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Cut quickly. What do you score here? And he's run out after a big game. The offense has been set up for the first down and goal.
grab behind the line with Stanley's. It's a touchdown as they jump on top here in overtime. And now for the crucial extra point to push the lead to seven in OT. PAT puts him in front by seven. So pressure on this offense. They must answer the touchdown to stay in this game. Looking downfield, it's rising. Gets hauled in here over the middle. The tackle is made, but the game sets the offense up. First and goal from the nine. Well, the receiver does all the work here. And that is easy living for this quarterback. Really good footwork by the receiver. Gets the separation. And at that point, it's just pitch and catch for the quarterback. So now it's first and goal. They have to punch it in here to keep this game going. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Makes a quick grab. They're able to get him down. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. And they stay ahead of the sticks. And the crowd really making some noise now, trying to help out this defense to get this stop near the goal line. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Exactly behind the line, it's a loss of two. What a great play by the defense here. Getting close to the goal line. Not only do they come up with a big stop, but they send them backwards in the process. Now they'll set up third and goal. They've got two plays left. They've got to punch it in or it's game over. On third and goal, he's going to try to throw for it. They pressure him and get him the loss back to the seven-yard line. This is good pressure by the defense, and it just felt like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a little bit too long, which allowed the defense to get home. So now it's fourth down, ball game on the line right now. Where's the snap? Looking to throw the ball. Caught near the sticks. It's Keefe. And he's into the end zone for a touchdown. And now a decision. You kick the PAT or go for two and the win. Well, this is one of the benefits of going second when you get into overtime. Now you know what you're facing. You put a touchdown on the board, you can either send it to another overtime if you kick an extra point, or potentially, hey, let's win the game and go for two right here. And now for the crucial extra point to tie this up and force a second overtime. And he knocks through the PAT. So we're still tied now heading into the first play of double overtime. Look at now throwing here to start the drive. Caught over the middle. It's Parks. They finally tackle him at the four. It's a solid gain on the pitch and catch. How about the arm strength from this quarterback? He really didn't have any other option than to put it right in there and give it everything that he had. Great timing and a good job of squeezing that in between the defenders. So the offense has a first and goal now here in the second overtime. Scanning the field. It's rising. Looking to the end zone into the end zone to take the lead here in OT. How in the world do you lose track of the reliable tight end on that play? The only thing I can think about is the defense is so locked in on the wide receivers or maybe the running game that they just forgot about the tight end. The guy's wide open. That's an easy throw.
So they score the touchdown. Now by rule, they must go for two here in second overtime. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. And he's in there. The conversion is good. Great execution, and it pushes the lead to eight. So pressure on this offense here in overtime. They must score a touchdown to stay alive. Looking to throw it on first down. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. Second down play coming up. After the incompletion on first down, we're going to throw it again. This time it's complete. And the game just good enough for a first down. You know, this is what makes this receiver so dangerous. If you play him in man, he can run by you for a big play. You decide to sit back in zone, and he's got the savvy and instincts to be able to find that soft spot in the zone, make a catch, and be dangerous after the catch as well. And looking to throw now on first down. He's got it, looking for the end zone. Run down at the five after the catch. The offense really threatening now. Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw and put it on target. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. And the running back takes the handoff. He's into the end zone for a touchdown. Now they'll set up for a two-point try. they going to force another overtime. Well, the offense has done its job here coming up with this touchdown, and that's a great job. And as you know now, Chris, down by two, they've got to hit this two-pointer to be able to tie this game up and send it to a third overtime. And now the wrinkle here in double overtime. They must set up for a two-point try. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. And no, he doesn't get in. They've stopped him to win the game in double overtime. 